that may feel like they're not doing enough or not seeing results. And I'm gonna mainly target fitness, but this could apply in many areas of our lives. So me personally, I told my trainer today, I'm like, oh, I wanna do more of this and that. I feel like I'm kind of rushing my process in my head or I don't feel like I'm exactly where I want to be for to be four months of work now. And I'm just gonna just like dissect that. The most extreme to this case is called body dysmorphia. And it's pretty much, you know, nitpicking, obsessing over certain parts of your body, comparing it to others, doing a lot of cosmetic surgery or excessive exercise and stuff. So obviously I, I use the term lightly today, but I don't have body dysmorphia because I'm not obsessively exercising and I don't do cosmetic surgery. But I have a vision of what I want to look like, right? And I think a lot of us have a vision of like how we want to look. The next part of that is doing the work to look that way and some people choose the cosmetic surgery route and others choose to just go crazy in the gym. I have been working out for four months and it's interesting like you we can kind of see ourselves in a way that others can't or or don't. It's usually more critical of how we see ourselves and what we see in the mirror versus what other people see. And it's not to say that well, how we see ourselves is entirely wrong, but I'm really saying all this to say what you see is what you see, but you have to remember like you don't exactly hear or see yourself the way that the world hears and sees you. You have to be careful with how critical you are of yourself because it could be to a default. And that's where you have people who go, who spend a lot of money and keep getting cosmetic surgeries after cosmetic surgeries. There's people who burn out in the gym and, you know, they they just lose themselves mentally. There's extremes to everything. And this video is pretty much about finding your balance and knowing that if you're putting the work in, your results are going to come. So, in the last four months, I've definitely seen my body change. Like, I look at different pictures and I'm like, wow, okay, so, you know, you look different. And then even, like, my friends. Like, I knew, I think the second month, maybe the third, I really started to see. But then you get used to that. You're like, okay, what else? How, how much further can we go? How much more? Like, what else? And I think I, I've been at that, okay, what else phase? Um, and I'm, like, reeling myself back in to not obsess over, like, my midsection. So pretty much I'm like, okay. We got the butt back and now you know, we're continuing to grow the butt. But now I'm like, okay, this should be like better. This should be tighter. Like I'm eating right. I'm doing everything right. Like what's up? It's kind of a wrong way to look at it. Like if I know I'm clocking into the gym five days a week, every morning, one hour to two hours, one to two hours a day, and I have a trainer and I'm you know, lifting weights and doing stuff. And then I know I, how I eat in my kitchen it's not processed, it's organic veggies and um, fish and you know, it's not like a fried thing. What am I really obsessing over? And you can apply this to your life. Like, if you know you're doing right and then you're doing, you're doing internal work for what you're consuming, you have external exercise, then why are, you, why are you tripping, right? And it's like the mind, the mental. So the same way we use our mental to think these thoughts and to like, oh my God, I'm so critical. I'm learning that I have to, we have to use our mental to continue to push ourselves further and further. So I had this self analysis and I'm like, okay, yes, you're working out and you're eating right. So in the gym, could you be going a little harder? It's not excessive, but could you? Because there's times I do a lot of stopping. Like, my trainer had me do mountain climber, mountain climber twist, and like certain things, and I like stop it, you know, flop my legs or something. Like, I don't push through full straight out 20, 10, 15. Like, I have breaks. And so I'm like, now I'm at a phase where it's like, okay, how can I minimize the breaks that I'm taking? How can I minimize all these stops that I'm taking? You know you're doing the work and you are pushing through and you're in the kitchen in the gym, then it's like you have to do that self-analysis. You have to reflect on it. Okay, 
because I'm not seeing exactly the results I want to see. First, I have to know that I'm being overly critical of myself. And second, it's like, is there more that I could be doing? Because you know, there's always going to be more. Our lives is about figuring, figuring out and finding the balance of what we have, what we need, what we want, right? And so I want six pack abs showing, I want tight abs core. So it's like, you're doing that, but can you add another 20%? And I know I can push through more. And that shit will reflect over in other areas of your life. No one's perfect. No one's gonna look perfect. Yes, there's people, there's different scales of people who rate people from, you know, not so attractive to very attractive. And that's just life, just society. But no matter what, there are, those are people within that scale. You're still a human. You still have feelings. You still, you know, you still have a vision for yourself no matter what the scale of society places on you or puts you within. You're still a human. And you still have to live your life for you. You still have to be aware of where you're being so critical of. You have to be aware that others are always going to say something. No matter if you are the most beautiful to the least attractive person. People are always going to have something to say. So it's a matter of like, how are you going to filter that out and filter out your own negative thoughts and like push through where you need to push through in life. There's multiple ways to kind of do that. One way I'm exercising like getting out of my head when it comes to like my body now, you know, because I'm just working on this mental is journaling. Journaling still definitely helps. It's just about really expressing yourself. You can literally say today, I feel like this, you know? And I think the once the more you hear, like you write down those negative thoughts that you're having and you read it over and you're like, yo, nah, this is not the reality that I want for myself. This is not what I want to be thinking about myself. You know, I think that's a method where you can kind of reverse those thoughts by just seeing like how you're thinking <laughs> written down. Do add up the ante, add another 10%, 20% where necessary. Three, complete a self-analysis. Look, look back at like what you're doing. Just, just really look so that that criticism, make it realistic. Am I over criticizing myself? Let me just see the areas. And that goes back up to two, then you up it if you need to up it. Four, limit your social media consumption. Scrolling will really have you thinking all these thoughts, forgetting that people edit their pictures, people smooth out their skin, the, delete their pores, delete their pimples, you know, they do things to themselves, whether cosmetic surgery or filter. That's how I also come back, like my compare, like, because I don't really compare myself anymore, but I used to. Um, and the first step in college, I like stop turning on notifications so I, I don't have to like look on Instagram and like see who posted or see what people think of me or anything like that. I personally do choose a more natural, like raw. And granted, I love how um, the faux lashes look on the girls. Like, I do one. One, I don't feel like the expense. That's also a big reason. Um, and then two, it's just like I'm gonna feel naked a thousand. Sometimes I already feel naked without them, and I don't even wear them. So I think that's just a way for me just to keep control over what I would possibly obsess over is just like opting out of that. When I post a picture, I'm not editing like my body or my face or anything. Like if there's one major pimple, I'm gonna just blemish it out. But other ones, like it's okay. This is really who I am and I have to be comfortable with posting this and you gotta be comfortable with seeing this. I like find a balance with like how I post on social media and how I engage. Social media, that's number four. The five is, it's okay to ask people, like for that assurance. Don't be obsessive asking, like, how, how, how do I look? But you know, every you know month, give me an honest assessment of, my, of me or something like that. Don't make it about your physical, make it about your internal too. That's what really matters is like your internal, like how you treat people, how's your spirit, how's your emotions, how's your mental. You have friend assessments, family assessments, boyfriend, girlfriend assessments. Like, how, how did I perform this month? From so what you can see, how am I? How, how did I treat you, you know, this month? Did you recognize how I treated others, you know, this past month? How am I doing in the gym? You know, get that other person's, like, opinion that's close to you because nine times out of ten, 
I mean, they're going to be critical, where they need to be critical if you allow them. So people are only going to tell the truth if they also feel comfortable with you telling you the truth or that you can handle it. You give them that permission just to be honest with you. Like, you're going to get that. And chances are, you're, you're going to see that you're being harder on yourself than not. Those are five really important things that you can implement into, you know, your daily life that will help you not succumb or, you know, have body dysmorphia, but also just to get you out of your head and in real time and stop being overly critical of yourself. If you're doing good, like if you know you're clocking in at three to five times a week in the gym and you're eating right, there's nothing stressed about. Something just takes time. Do your gut cleanses, so like do all those things, these detoxes, so that you know it's nothing else internal is stopping you from seeing your external um, results as well. But this is just like an encouragement video because I need to hear it myself and I just, you know, have that revelation like, stop it. You're doing good. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> And I know there's people who need to hear it who've been in the gym and you know, been working out and just really pushing through. So this is words of encouragement um, as we enter 2022. I'm proud of you for um, and being in the gym, you know, before the new year and changing your diets, you know, doing your inner work. Keep doing it. There's more in the way. You have a ways to go, but every day matters. And everything you put in each day gets its results for the next. Love you, be kind, be gentle to yourself and to others, and keep going.